I am Nathan Elijah, Nathan Percy Elijah, and I grew up in Bombay, India, which is now Mumbai, as you know. And what I remember is all the people on Yom Kippur, all in white, pants and tops, all, all everyone was in white. Uh, at Sim Khattora, we were dancing, we visited all the different synagogues. There was the olden style synagogues. We had uh, big, huge oil lamps that were suspended from the ceilings. We had fans running when it was hot. I also remember when we uh, became um, members of a youth group and uh, went for a short while to the uh, liberal synagogue. And sometimes the insights and so on, you came away thinking these people are so wise. They would be sermons that you would be riveted listening to. And there was a Jewish club in Bombay where, they, where people would meet for dances. The Jewish community was so diverse that we had, in fact, uh, a Baghdadi or Iraqi group. And in fact, we sometimes would celebrate our weddings and uh, uh, receptions in the uh, Eli Kaduri, uh, Sir Eli Kaduri Hall. We had people who were uh, of different Hindu uh, groups as well especially where we lived, they would be uh, preparing a, a halwa, which is like a sweet meat. Now, we had at home a massive, big, huge pot, and we had a wooden paddle. And so at that time, we would actually be preparing such large quantities. We were paddling <laughs> and, and making this big, huge thing, and we would distribute it to all our neighbors. So at our festival times, they knew we had a festival on, they respected it, and in fact, they got the sweets, and at their festivals, they would reciprocate and give us sweets. In fact, uh, there were one or two instances we became aware of where uh, there was intermarriage even between a Jewish uh, girl and a Muslim boy. And in fact, one couple, they converted and they finally went to Israel. So, and mom and dad always told us, respect all the religions. Uh, in fact, um, mom, mom told us her, her grandfather had read all the three Faith, the books, the Quran, the, uh, the New Testament, the Old Testament. And he said, there are so many things that are common. It's all the same in the end. So uh, we grew up with that sort of uh, uh, understanding. Okay, I'm Solomon Jonathan Erulka, and I was born in Bombay. And my family moved to Pune, and they call today Pune. And that's where I did my schooling and spent, spent all my life as, as a youngster before I migrated to Israel. And, and that was a great time for me because most of my time in, in Pune was basically my schooling and, and the game of cricket. We as, as people don't think that Indian Jews or Nezra Jews are, are heavily involved in the game of cricket. Uh, it, I'd like to defer a little bit on this because we, uh, we as being Nezra and also Indians took a lot to the game of cricket and, and obviously being the main game of, of the country. I love cricket and I basically breathe it. And I think I've, uh, I've passed it on to my children who, uh, who play cricket. Uh, but my, my journey as a cricketer is when I finished, when I left Israel, I, I left India and I migrated to Israel in 1975. Uh, I got in touch with the Bnei Israel community in, in Israel and I found out that they play cricket out there too. The Bnei Israel community in Melbourne, we've, we've basically got uh, families that have come directly from India to Australia. You've got families who have gone to Israel and then come here to Australia. And that's basically, uh, we, we grew our friendships when we came here and slowly, slowly we, uh, we got to know each other. And we've become into quite a vibrant uh, group. Not a very large group, but quite a vibrant one and we keep in touch on a regular basis. I had a lot of friends from different communities in India and never ever did we, uh, they knew I was Jewish, I knew who they were, and never ever did that come across or come between us as friendships. And we've, we've been friends for a long time. Obviously, I disconnected for a lot of them when I, moved, when I left India. But while, while I lived there, they were the best friends you could think of.